Okay, so got um, same daily count one, two, one, two puts us in the three of the three, and it's just taking its sweet sorry time with a bunch of one twos uh, to get going. And um, what I think it, it, it's doing, I think we've got one last pull back ahead of us, and then we should push on up properly. So if I come down to the four hour chart and I've added some of the sub labels in. So this is the next one, two, one. I think this two is most likely in here. Um, the alt remains on the chart and you can see on the hourly chart of the S&P 500 where I've put the upper and lower supports and all the rest of it. But I think we're getting a diagonal up here. Uh, we've held the 786 retrace of the length of the three as measured off the bottom of the two this morning and we're pushing up quite strongly. So I'm looking for this last bit of whipsaw up in for the fifth down for a two and then three four five four five and so on and so forth in the s p 500 it makes it very very difficult for people to stay in swing trades especially in futures and, and keep the faith with the counts um but that's what we we, we typically get so um the other thing is to, to note with this that the, the whole pattern even the four itself was not exactly conventional, um, but we are in the final part of a very, very long term uh, wave three. So just looking at this then on an hourly chart in the ES, and if this is the two in here, then this upper support region is what's applicable, which was on the early morning charts that I sent out this morning. And you can see we've just come down, spiked and reversed. We, we didn't quite get to the 764. We do need to take out yesterday's high to prove this and come on up and make a new high. That would give us another one up. The ideal target for which is this 2958.83, so 29.59, which is the 618 extension. So that's based on the length of this one projected up off the bottom of this wave two. We look for the wave one of the next fractal lower to come and hit the 618 extension. So that's what I'm looking for this morning in the ES, so a strong up day, having had a, a push down overnight. So the reverse of yesterday in, in effect. If we break this lower support zone, I mean, invalidation of this count is at 2908, but I would very much expect this lower support zone to hold, which is the same area we were looking at last week for the Alt 2. Not what I wanna see, not what I'm expecting to see with this pattern, but. Uh, it's there if we do break it, at least we're not going to be surprised. We know what to look for. So the next thing I'm looking for in the ES here is a break back above 29.33 and a half, um, and then a move up into this target region here. And you can see the, the usual suspects for um, the completion of our diagonal are the 1618 to 1764, and they're not a million miles from this 618 extension. So I'm looking for an A, B, C pattern up into this target zone today. So even then, it's going to be tricky trading. Um, you know, let's, let's see if we can track the A up, let the B back come to us, and then perhaps get the um, day trade long position in place. Um, and then we look for signs of reversal up here. And then this two that we should get after that, before we then start that final grind that I've been looking for for what seems like forever now.